Come to Bubble and party down by the sea. Come to catch kids from Bubble Bay. Yeah. Floating fun froggies. Ooh. I'll teach you to spin. Flip your cute color things. Put on your magical mask. It's a snorkel surprise. Squeeze the fish. <laughs> We're bubbling. Lots of bubbling fun playing in the sea. Everyone join the party with my Cabbage Patch Kids Fun Bubble Baby. New from the Cabbage Patch Kids, the screen test. Perfect. Collect all three. What very special someone is waiting to take you on an amazing adventure? The very special little elephant, Mumphy. That's who... Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to find an adventure. Get set for musical fun you'll never forget in Britt Allcroft's Magic Adventures of Mumphy, the movie. Here comes Mumphy with the happy ending. It'll make your heart rejoice when the first few notes... From Britt Allcroft, the, the producer of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Mumphy brings the magic of Broadway home with memorable sing-along songs. Sing. Our adventure has begun now for real. You're a part of the excitement I feel. Mumphy makes friends wherever he goes. It's easy. Meet Mumphy's friends Scarecrow and Pinky the Flying Pig as they take a whale of a ride to help a queen bring song and laughter back to her tiny island. They must fight pirates and an evil villain. Her majesty is in great danger. But don't fret, Mumphy and his friends will save the day. Mumphy! It's electrically charged family fun that TV Guide calls truly magical. USA Today says it's delightful for the entire family. And the New York Daily News hails, it's one of the best, an instant classic. Well done, ladies. Brett Allcroft's Magic Adventures of Mumphy, the movie. This is a story about a little boy named Peter, just like you. And it all started on the first day of spring, just like today. doing over there everything turned out okay didn't it listen you'll never have to be scared again because i'll always be here to protect you
This is Captain Travis Edward Hooper II, calling Mission Control. This is Mission Control. I've made contact with the alien. Wish me luck. Take me to your leader. No way, Earthling. We can never join forces. In that case, I have no choice but to zap you with my trusty atomic heat ray. <laughs> That's my dad. So he'll be real angry if you bust it. What's up? I just shipped the paint a bit. I just don't want my dad to hear us fooling around, that's all. Why is that? Well, he hasn't been too happy with my grades lately. He said that he might... Trav! This is great! We're supposed to be working on an idea for our class project. I gotta do well in this project. Are you gonna help me or not? Oh, we got loads of time for that. Hang loose like a swing on a tree. Stay cool like a swim in the sea. Kick back, it comes naturally. You're a kid and that's all you're expected to be. Chill out, chill out like an ice cream. fun to be done and a no man's trouble might never come one day we'll be old and gray worried and hurried and too many bills to pay one day but not right now now it's for fun come on and i'll show you how hang loose hang loose like a swing on a tree of bravery. Oh, man. My mind's a blank. Gee, Melanie, have you come up with an idea? I think I've got something, Mary Beth. Last week, the noted naturalist Dr. F. R. M. P. Twitcher fell 100 feet out of a tree while studying the rare spotted jacarna bird in Africa. It was only due to... <laughs> to the immediate attention given to his wounds by his assistant, Nurse Elizabeth Wing, uh -huh. that his life was saved. I'm sorry, Vernon, but I don't think removing a spider from the bath counts as an act of bravery. You were too scared to touch it. I was not. Vernon! I bet the spider thought I was brave. Nurse Elizabeth Wing then carried Dr. Twitcher single-handedly across 80 miles of desert. That's it. What do you think? Excuse us! Some of us are preparing for our school projects. <laughs> hey, look. <coughs> Vernon Dapner, do you mind? Oh, okay. Are you gonna use that to write your project? Of course. That looks like the CPK Quad 6200. Whoa, that's 64 megabytes of RAM. Oh, really? It's the very latest technology. You just press the keys and it beeps and, and... And when you close the lid, it makes a perfect fashion accessory. Mmm. 
Just in time. How's it all going? It's not going at all. No one's come up with any ideas for the project. Have no fear. Captain Hooper and I have discovered a solution in the basement nebula. What well, Barry means is that we thought of something. Ta-da! We're all going to make a movie for our class project. <laughs> you really think that you can make a movie with that piece of junk? Lots of great films have been made with this sort of camera. I'm with Barry and Trev. I think it's a great idea. So do I. We've got all weekend. We could use Norma's story and film it in my backyard. Whoa, count me in. Me too. Ring, ring. ring. This is your wake up call. Time, Time is running out. <gasps> Miles? Vernon, we're right behind you. That's great. Nick? Uh, uh, Nick? Uh, uh. Yeah! Good morning, Mrs. Norris. From P. Twitcher, famous naturalist. Now look, Trav, it's my dad's camera and I think I should be... Hey, be careful, the floor's not fish. Strong. What's this, Miles? It's my dad's old tape machine, but I don't know if it's gonna work now. Ow! Vernon! What about this for Nurse Elizabeth Wayne? That looks great, Serena. How's the script coming along? Ah, oh, who needs a script? We've got enormous clipping. We'll just make it up as we go along. Perhaps you'd be better operating the camera, Billy. That's a terrific idea. I'll help you. You'll be great. Do you think so, Melanie? Sure. You've got to be good at something. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. We start filming tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'm actually working in the movies. Ow! That's it, Vernon. I'm telling Mom, you did that on purpose. I did not. Did too. Uh -uh. Yes, you did. I did not. Did too. Uh -uh. Did uh, too. No, I didn't. I'll just leave you guys to it. So, let me run through that again. You look through here. Uh-huh. You press that and it opens this. The film goes through here, around here, but not around there. You push this one down and this one up. It comes out here through this and back over that. See? Simple. In fact, it's so simple that even you could operate it. Okay, who can I help now? Keep up the good work, Billy. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're doing the bit where Dr. Twitcher falls out of the tree. Now, Nurse Elizabeth Wink, that's you, Sharina, rushes in to save his life. Perhaps Elizabeth Wink should fly in. <laughs> yes, thank you for that, Travis. Right, Nick, this scene is about love, hope, and despair. Makeup, makeup. I thought this would look good on Dr. Twitcher. <laughs> Imagine you're a dying flower rescued by the... It's green. Yeah, sorry about the color. I found it in our cat box. Can we please get on with it? Where was I? Oh, yes. A dying flower rescued by a single drop of rain. A little lamb saved from hunger by a solitary blade of grass. Okay, got that? What Barry means is that Elizabeth is in love with Dr. T. If she doesn't do something quickly, he'll die. Yeah, that's right. Fair. That's what I said. Uh, hi. Oh, oh hi, hi, Barry. Barry.
garden. <laughs> so how's the movie going? Well, we haven't really started yet. Oh, oh really? really? <laughs> how's your project going? Oh, perfectly. It's so easy when you have the technology. Do you think I could have a look? Uh, 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 uh. Maybe when we're finished. Then again, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Bernie. Gee, thanks. You're gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're unconscious. You can't sneeze when you're unconscious. Sorry, Barry. Okay, let's shoot something. Go. Barry, you had to turn the camera on first, then say action. I know, Travis, I know. Billy, are you ready? Ready, Barry? Camera on. Dr. Twitchy gets saved. Take one. And action. Are you all right, Dr. Twitchy? And cut. Perfect. Yeah! We did it. We made it work. Oh, move over, Steven Spielberg. I suppose you did remember to put film in the camera. Well, of course. Uh, Billy? It's okay, Barry. I did remember. See? No! <gasps> hey, we still got sound. We can always make a radio show. That's it, Travis. You're always fooling around. If you can't take this project seriously, then I suggest you find your own project to do and keep away from this one. <laughs> you cannot be serious. I am serious, Travis. But, but, Barry, I was only trying to... I can't work with you. Well, if that's how you feel about it... I do. Right. That's enough for today. We'll meet up again tomorrow morning. I'm out of here. Something sure is bugging Barry. Yeah. yeah. I really let Barry and Travis down yesterday. Oh, don't worry, Billy. You've got to be good at something. What are we going to do now? It looks like we're about to find out. Plan. We're gonna shoot the desert scene in the sand pit. But what about Travis? We can do it without Travis. Come on, let's get to work. Swing on a tree, kick back. It comes naturally. Where's Vernon? Why does he always leave me to do the hard work? It's M I S S S S S. IPI. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you, do you think you're doing? Oh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh! What have you done? I, I only wanted to see what. Vernon Dapner, you've lost our project. Okay, everyone, listen up. This is a bit where Elizabeth Wayne carries Dr. Twitcher across the desert. Now imagine the sands of time trickling through your fingers, your whole life hanging by
by this look thin... What I found. Melanie, go away! I'm trying to work here! But this will look much more nicer. Melanie! Achoo! I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Achoo! It was an accident. I didn't mean any harm. Neither did I. I need a new career and I'm only eight. Hours and hours wasted. All lost by a silly cyberspace internet nut. Thanks, Thanks for, for nothing, nothing Vernon. Oh, boy, you sure have upset those two. Don't I know it. Oh, man, I fried their whole project. It's gone forever. But they got the CPK Quad 6200. So? It's nearly impossible to lose anything in one of those. Anyone who knows anything about computers could find it just like that. Nah, it's hopeless. I think it's too late. Well, why is that? Though I'm trying not to show it, but everybody knows it. My confidence is slipping and sliding away. It feels just like we blew it. Don't know how we'll get through it. We'll need to find a way to do it. Then we'll be okay. Hey, come on, you guys. Wait a minute. Don't look back. Don't look over your shoulder. Back up. Absolutely. Impossible. But I think I can. Uh, hey, what's he doing? No, no. Don't worry. He's a computer whiz. Just a couple more files to go. There it is. He found it. He found, found it. it. I found it. I found it. I. Hang on. There are only two lines here. <laughs> really? You mean you only had two lines? But. But you said... Oh, brother. Come on, Vernon. We gotta go finish the movie. Well, well... Well, they were two very important lines. Yes, that's right. Our whole project is based on them. You two as well? <coughs> yeah. Well, that's it. He's upset just about everybody now. I'm sure something's up. I think I should go talk to him. What's up, Barry? Just about everything. The project, Travis, my dad. Your dad? Yeah, he said he's gonna send me to another school if I get another bad grade. This project was my last chance, and I guess I've blown it. I'm not gonna see any of you guys ever again. Hey, come on. I'm sure we can work something out. This isn't working. I should have been more serious. Oh, boy. That was cool. I can't believe how you do that stuff. Hey, it's the guys. Hey, wait, no! Oh! 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 Oh, man! I'm stuck! Help! Billy, you were great. Thanks for your help. That's okay. See, I can get 
get things right if I put my mind to it. Help! Help! Hydra, what you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just hanging around. What do you think I'm doing? I'm stuck! Help me! Okay, Vernon, you climb up there and get him down. Huh, me? Why don't you go up there? Me? What am I worrying about this trap? Will you two stop yapping? I'm slipping! Get some help! Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stick around. We're gonna help you. So you see, Barry's had a lot on his mind. If you'd only told us, Barry, we would have understood. Yeah, I'm really sorry. That's okay, Barry. What about the film? We can still finish it. But what about Travis? Well, I think I should get Trav back. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Trav! Trav, he said Trav. <clears throat> stuck! Tree! Trav, stuck, tree. Huh? was really us up there. And you got it all on film, Billy. Well, the camera was there and you know, Billy, I think you're terrific. Hey, put her there, pal. Gee, thanks, Barry. Hold everything. Stand back, make some space. We have written on our computer the whole story of the rescue. It's all in here. like it in black anyway. I wonder if it comes in pink. Mm. Hang loose, hang loose, like a swing on a tree. 